Hello, my name is Batal Ali. I'm a student pharmacist at Notre Dame of Maryland University. Today, I'll be presenting on generic versus brand name medications. The objective of this presentation is to provide a comparison between generic and brand name medications. So first, let's do an introduction of what brand and generic medications are. When a new drug gets approved for the very first time, the manufacturer can exclusively sell it for a certain number of years under a patent. Generic drugs are identical or bioequivalent to brand name drugs in strength, safety, quality, and intended use. Generic drugs can be marketed once the patent for the brand name medication expires, and generic drugs are usually sold at lower prices than brand, than brand name drugs. The Hatch-Waxman Act, which is also known as the Drug Price Competition and Patent Term Restoration Act, is the act that allowed drug companies to submit abbreviated forms to the FDA for approval of their generic products. It also provides exclusive market time for the manufacturer of the brand medication. During this time, a generic product cannot be marketed. The process for approval of a generic product by the FDA is as follows. First, the drug companies have to submit an abbreviated new drug application, or ANDA, to the FDA. And then in order to get an approval from the FDA, the generic product must meet the following criteria. It must contain the same active ingredients as the brand name medication. However, the inactive ingredients may vary. It must be identical in strength, dosage form, and route of administration to the brand medication. It must have the same use indications. It must be bioequivalent to the brand name medication, meaning that it must have the same pharmacokinetic characteristics such as bioavailability. And it must also be manufactured under the same strict standards of FDA's good manufacturing practice regulations required, by, required for brand products. As for cost comparison, generic drugs are not required to perform clinical trials. They only have to prove that they are bioequivalent to the brand medication, so that allows them to be sold cheaper than brand name medications. According to the Congressional Budget Office, generic drugs save consumers an estimated $8 to $10 billion a year at retail pharmacies. Here we have a table comparing brand and generic alternative medications. So these are comparing prices for 30-day supply. As you can see, the brand name medications are way higher than the generic, pri the generic alternative prices for the same 30-day supply. The takeaway points for this presentation are as follows. Generic drugs go through rigorous approval process by the FDA to prove their bioequivalence to their brand name medications. Generics are identical to brand name medications in safety and efficacy profiles and generics are as effective as brand medications and cheaper than brand medications. That is the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching. As a disclaimer, please note that this presentation is for informational purposes only. Patient pharmacy and students accept no liability for the contents of this video.